Well, let me tell you, Margaret, we're here in St. Andrews. A lot of the delegations are starting to arrive for this G20 finance ministers meeting, and I'm very pleased to say I'm joined by Mr. Boutros Ghali, the finance minister of Egypt. Sir, thank you so much you. for uh, joining us. In terms of what we have seen, a lot of talk about the progress that the G20 has done. Can we do more? Do we need to do more? And what is G Egypt looking out for at this, at this weekend? Look, we need to do more, that's for sure. We need to start uh, the day-to-day -day work of getting out of this mess we're in. Uh, the, the worst is past, even though some data will come and signify that things can get still worse. But um, the worst is past. Now we need to make sure that what got, is, got us into this mess in the first place doesn't happen again. And this happens if we coordinate our exits. But, sir, as an emerging economy, what do you ask? I mean, it does seem that a lot of the focus was on bonuses, a problem of the West, on regulation, yeah. a problem of the West. Well, what are you asking for? I am asking that the West regulate themselves <laughs> so that we don't sink Sorry. with them again. Uh, but I'm also asking that monies that were going to emerging market economies don't dry up, which they have in the past 18 months that um, uh, development assistance returns to its normal levels, that capital flows, investment, return to their normal levels. So there is a stake for emerging market economies that are not in the heart of the problem, that are on the periphery. Egypt is on the periphery, but it suffers nevertheless from the crisis in the world economy. So what are you doing to attract foreign direct investment in Egypt? No, we are doing all that needs to be done. The problem is the investors, not the, the, the recipient. The recipient is doing fine. The investor doesn't have the money, can't access credit properly, that has postponed all of its expansion uh, uh, prog uh, programs, and therefore we need them to get their act together so that they can re start reinvesting in our countries. Do you believe that we need a global debate on currencies? We need a global debate on restructuring the world economy, which will include, among other things, currencies. But it's not just currencies. But currencies doesn't seem to have been addressed properly. I mean, people. Well, are currency towing. is a symptom of an underlying problem somewhere else. Uh, if you address the currency without underlying, without addressing the underlying problem, which is that some countries save too much and some countries spend too much, if you don't fix this the currency will not, will not get fixed. You may bully one country or another to do this or that, but in two or three months, six months, one year, we're back where we started. So we need to restructure the way countries spend their money. So Chancellor Darling told us that he's not only concerned about asset bubbles, but if they burst, that would be catastrophic. Are you worried about asset bubbles? Uh, definitely. Not just asset bubbles, all sorts of little bubbles that come up when uh, there is an unsynchronized exit from the issue we're in. Uh, when there is still too much liquidity. In some countries, too much liquidity is still required. In others, it creates bubbles. If you don't talk to each other, if we don't synchronize with each other, we're going to end up with all sorts of small fires that we'll we're going to have to rush to put out. And it, it's not going to be a pleasant exit. Minister Boutroscali, thank you so much for joining us.